This video is about checking the tuning and adjusting the tuning on a Telewave isolator. I've got these cables disconnected and I've hit display here and uh, we're on measure one here. We're looking at reflection. So I hit display, normalize, and that normalizes it across here. Then I go to measure two and it's on transmission, and that's the trace down here. And right now it's down off the bottom here because we have nothing connecting these two. Put these together. And you see that this line now has come up here at zero. But we'll make sure it's normalized by redoing that. Okay, so now it's normalized. And you notice that we see about minus 30 to minus 40 here uh, across here. This is minus 50 and that's plus 50 from 151.5, which is the test frequency we're using. And the cable length here has been selected to be a half wavelength multiple uh, at the frequency we want to test to ensure that whatever's uh, on this end of the cable is the same as on this end of the cable as far as match is concerned. I put the uh, isolator here. This is the input, this is the output. This is the reflection port on this analyzer. The RF output goes in here, comes out here and goes to the other port. And here's the results that we have on the two uh, frequencies. In measure one, we're looking at the uh, return loss here. It's 31 dB at 151.5, which is really good. It's still 20 dB at 148 and 155, which is acceptable as well. So it can work over that range without having a um, match input or output problem. And then when we go to uh, measure uh, 2 and put the markers up for that, again, we're at 0.48 something about a half a dB of loss on a dual isolator here so it meets actually exceeds the spec that we have and it's uh, 0.6 and 0.7 almost 0.8 uh, at the other two frequencies so it's still usable if you're only going a channel over one way or the other you're probably okay but if you have to go further than that then we have to do some tuning okay I've reversed this thing so that the output is uh, now being driven by the uh, network analyzer and the output to the input, uh, the network analyzer uh, RF input port here is, is uh, connected to the uh, input side. The uh, curve here is showing that we're still matched. So the input, I mean the output side is, is matched well. It's 30 dB or so. Looks like it's uh, and, and we're looking at the curve here. We're at 67 dB at 151.5, which is a little off from where the null is here, the, the best case. Uh, we're at 42 dB and 49 dB at 155 and 148. So that's why you might have to do some tuning if you wanted to use it uh, up and down from the frequency we're desiring here uh, to operate at. So we might want to tune this and get this down as far as we can on a given frequency and uh, we'll show how to do that. I've inserted the uh, tuning tool here into load 6 here or port 6, tuning port 6 I should say and I, if I tune that a little bit this way or that way there we go there's the maximum now and we're down at a 80 or 90 dB here. It looks like it's 80 something. It's it's in the noise. As you see, it's bumping up and down there, and this is changing around. But anyway, it's right at the best uh, peak. We don't know what we've done to the match here. We'll have to turn it around and look. It hasn't changed the match over here, so we're isolated. There's no question about that. But we have now the kind of isolation we'd like to have with for this unit. So we'll have to switch it around 
again and put the input over there and the output over here to see what happens. I've swapped the ports back to the uh, in and out here to see what our match is this way. As you see, our match is still good. Our loss is still good. So this is now tuned and the notch is in the exact right place. With just a slight adjustment. Once you get it into the area where you need to be, the slight adjustment of these two will make the isolation maximum but you have to be careful because you have to make sure that you don't mess up your input match or the output match or the loss that's going through the thing in the correct direction here.